Hello everyone, this is uh, Inspire 2016. So we would like to give you a free tarot card reading for everyone. So the way we want to read the card is using the six card uh, major arcana layout. So the first card will represent how you feel about yourself right now. The second card will be representing what you most wanted at this moment. And the third card will represent your fears out of the situation that you have been going through. And the fourth card will represent what is going for you. And the fifth card will represent what is going against you. And the last card will be the sixth card represent the outcome according to your situations or the questions that you ask. So all of the spread will be presented based on your zodiac signs, that means your sun sign, rising sign, your moon sign or whatever sign you have as the one that you hold dear in your deepest heart. So let's begin the reading. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Hello Pisces. The first card for you is representing how do you feel about yourself. Your card is the Hierophant. You feel a need for advice or wise counsel or perhaps spiritual consolation. Someone, or perhaps immediate events, will provide moral and practical guidance. Perhaps you are considering becoming such a tutor, counselor or spiritual advisor. You desire the tried and tested traditional values, so when considering your options, this approach will prove wiser than adopting an unconventional novel approach. For example, marriage is more likely to be your desire than a living together situation. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the justice. The cards suggest that what you most want at this time is for a fair and right outcome whether it concerns relationships or business affairs. You feel that you are in the right and that any decision or agreement to be made should be in your favor. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is your judgment. You are afraid that the conclusions you've been wanting are delayed and fear any far-reaching changes ahead. Perhaps things aren't turning out quite as you expected for some reason. This is a period when your routine will be changed dramatically. Fear not, although events will seem to be moving at a real pace, any choice you make will change life for the better. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the lovers. New love and commitment will enter your life, even if there's no one on the horizon, be prepared for a surprise. Throw caution to the wind and expect joyous and happy times ahead. The fifth card for you is representing what is going against you. Your card is the world. As always, fear holds us back and so often leads to missed opportunities. Do not give up or change direction this late in the game just because you have experienced delays. Stick with your plan, have faith and trust the universe and you will reach the successful conclusion you are wanting. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the sun. The sun is shining on you, it's your time for success, joy and happiness. You will feel confident and full of vitality. It's a time to celebrate with friends and loved ones, perhaps enjoy a well-earned holiday. A time of pleasure and good news around children or the conception or birth of a longed-for baby. If you are not feeling this way take heart, you will enter this period soon. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.